Okay, good morning. I think we'll take a backwards walk today. We'll start at the end. There's Skitty laying by the begonia. It's uh, maybe June 27th, 28th, something like that, last Saturday in June. We've got a lush, lush backyard now. Squirrel feeders. Here's a nice mossy rock that my friend Cheryl brought over last year that's still nice and mossy. Bird feeder. Let's take a look around over this way. Look, oh my gosh, plants everywhere. This is the particularly lush time of the year. We've had lots of moisture, lots of humidity. Not a whole lot of heat as such. A little fishy up here, eating something on the edge. And so we haven't hit the summer's droughtiness. The pond is running wonderfully after having found the leak and fixed it. Haven't had to put a drop of city water in it since then. <clears throat> I think you may have just heard that. Yeah, you hear. There's a cardinal. I think there's a cardinal nest somewhere. There it is, right up here in the tree. See it right up there? Right here. It's mad because there's a nest somewhere and I have kitties following me right now. Okay, let's come under the original grape arbor that was here when I moved in. There's a lightning bug hiding on the bottom of that. Oh, the lightning bugs have been wonderful at night. And we'll come out here to the garden area. There's the transplanted grapes looking grand. And look at all the curly tops on the garlic. I love that. I think they look so cool. Okay. Let's see here. Here's last year's transplanted grapes doing quite nicely. This one's still trying kind of hard over here. Okay, here's my huckleberries and my Brussels sprouts and broccoli. I did pick a little bit of broccoli. On oh, at the far end there is a tithonia that's planted for the monarchs. <clears throat> These yellow flowers here, these are ones that open at night. Uh, I think last year or the year before I did a little video of them opening. They're called spinning Persian primrose. And they'll open as you stand there watching them. They're really pretty nifty. I think we'll probably spend a little time out back today. Okay, let's come through here. Here's my blackberries. This plant looks happy. I see a couple of little berries starting, but not much. Here's the black raspberries, which, oh, yep, see, there's actually black raspberries. I've been eating a few of these at night when I come out, a handful. Okay, a giant stand of cup plant, native of a prairie plant here. But you have to maintain. That'll take over. My mystery plant. Still watching it. Unsure what it's going to be. I don't know. Looks like a odd version of the cup plant. Okay, let's look back over the lush, 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 lush garden for a second. And then we'll come up here by the pond. Take a little walk towards the front. It's morning. It's early. I think you just heard the uh, courthouse clock chime, maybe 8 o'clock, something like that. The poor little gargoyles getting hidden by all the plants underneath the pagoda dogwood. Here's the things I planted where the leak was found. Oh, by the way, the plant that I was unsure what it was turns out to be a petunia. Hey, imagine that. The wild ginger has grabbed on. You can see it's perky now. So probably next year, the year now after that, this video will show that just a whole big bed of wild ginger. Cat following me. Surprised there's not a third. Oh, here's the third. Right there. There's Pierce. All the boys like to go on the walkabout. Pierce, skidder, skidder, buddy on the rock posing. Come on, Bubba. All right. Okay. There's some rocks I still have to do something with. Those are the ones I moved out of the pond. This spot here is just crazy full of things. Persicaria with its pretty leaves. A couple of kinds of hosta, honeybills hosta. 
Blue Shadows hostel, which is... I probably need to get in there and clear that out. Probably do. Okay. Come through here. The Bleeding Heart's still huge. It's obviously done blooming. The hosta is still huge. Oh, I was noticing last night that the hosta berm over here is looking really good right now. Oh, except for that weed right there. Oops. We've got flowers on several. Bridegroom. I don't remember what that one's called. That one's Sub and Substance. More flowers. Flowers. Come up under here. I love it under this tree. The uh, prairie coneflower is getting ready to flower. I think we're going to have a long one tonight. We've got quite a nice little bunch of prairie coneflower under this tree this year. Yeah, it's just kind of randomly interspersed itself in here. Okay. Back this way. Here's my bulb. Alright, let's see here. We'll come up the sidewalk towards Skitter. Oh, oh, is it a good day to be a kitty, Mr. Skitter? It sure is. It's a good day to be a cat. Okay, let's see here. We'll come up here. We'll take a glance at this absolutely crazy area here. It's getting a little too overgrown. And the petunias aren't so happy in the stump. I don't know. They're, they're blooming, but eh, meh. Not super, super happy. But the petunias are happy up here in the planter. Look at those. See, those are looking so, like they're having a good time. Okay, put my gargoyles out. All right. They're hanging out on the steps this year. The poofy pink poppies are blooming. See here? And those just kind of come up wherever they feel like it every year. And my, uh, oh, I've just forgotten what this is called. Peruvian. Peruvian lily is going to bloom. See that bud sticking way up there? Next couple days that baby will bloom. Okay, so well, we're at seven and a half minutes. This is a long video. Come around here, take another glance up through here. This is somewhere in here is where the cardinal's nest is because they have a fit whenever we're out here in the driveway. I hear them. I hear them. Okay, well, happy end of June, happy Fourth of July. It's a beautiful morning here in Cambridge. Bye bye.